alkynes react with halogen molecules, Br2 and Cl2, in a way that is almost identical to alkenes reacting with the halogen molecules. We've got two generic examples that we're going to look at and then two specific molecules that we will look at as well. And the only difference between these first two reactions is the bromine that we're reacting it with. So in this first reaction, we have one bromine molecule and the solvent CCL4, carbon tetrachloride. This is just the solvent, so it's not anything that we have to really worry about. Uh, the Br2 molecule, we can use either Br2 or Cl2 for all of these reactions. Um, and so when we have one molecule of Br2, we are going to add that one molecule of Br2 to the carbon-carbon triple bond. So it's going to give us a double bond. And we do have two possible stereoisomers for how the bromines end up adding to the molecule. So we get both of these products right here. You want to think of them as um, cis-like and trans-like with respect to the bromines. We do know that this trans-like molecule is the major product that we see in this reaction. Uh, because we've got the R groups, which are large in a trans position, which we've talked about before with alkenes is definitely the most stable. And then the cis-like product is going to be the minor product that we have here. Now, the other option is to react the alkene with excess Br2 or Cl2. This XS is our abbreviation for the word excess. So this just means a lot of Br2. We really only need two stoichiometric equivalents of Br2. When we have two Br2 molecules, we're able to add a total of four bromines or chlorines to the carbon-carbon triple bond. So we end up with a molecule that has four halogens on it. Here are two specific examples that we can look at. So first we're going to start with this excess Cl2. When we have that excess reagent, that means that our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, our triple bond is going to be converted to a single bond, and we'll be putting a total of four halogens, two onto each carbon atom. This will be the only product of this reaction. Now uh, here we have a single Br2 molecule, not excess. So that means that we are making an alkene. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. I want to make sure I have all my carbons. And in this reaction, we are going to be making two stereoisomers. So it looks like initially I drew the trans product, which is our major product, but then I also need to show that we are forming the cis product as well. One, two, three, four, five. So if for this reaction, there are usually going to be two products um, produced, maybe not, depending on the structure of the initial reactant.